My name is Kelly Nichols, and I'm the Illinois field organizer for our national organization, Moms Clean Air Force. Um, here in Illinois, we have about 43,000 members, and though we may not have chapters in every state, we have members in every state, including um, in the areas surrounding where the pipeline dispute is currently happening. Our organization stands with Standing Rock, and though we're a pretty large national organization, our chapter states have focused about how we can do the work on a state level and working as good allies with people who are working at the front lines of this issue, and I feel like Having something like this happening in the legislature in Illinois is another way that we can be a part of seeing where we're needed and where our resources are best needed for this fight. Um, our organization is not just mothers, but people who care about clean air and the environment. And as we head in the direction of having a scarcity of all resources, I don't understand how looking at a scarcity of water globally um, ever could seem like a good idea to slam a big metal pipeline full of oil through some of the greatest resources of, of people who've lived there since the beginning of time, um, and also ruining the community they've established and, and the rights that they have to that piece of land. So um, for all the mothers in our organization, for all the mothers at Standing Rock, for all the, the greatest mother of all, Mother Earth, um, we just stand in solidarity <laughs> with the Standing Rock people, and we um, hope to be able to be the best allies we can as the fight progresses forward. Thank you. Thank you, thank you to all the wonderful speakers today and from Representative Cassidy for bringing this resolution forward. Uh, my name is Will Gazzardi, G-U-Z-Z-A-R-D-I. I'm a state representative from the 39th district. And uh, we're at a critical juncture in the history of our country and the history of our planet. Um, I think that we all know that urgent action must be taken in order to stave off the most dangerous and harmful effects of climate change. Um, and of course, those effects will hurt the least of us first, right? The people around the planet and in our country who are uh, living at the margins will be affected most immediately by climate change. Uh, I think it's our responsibility to draw the line, to say that we can leave some of this oil in the ground. We cannot drill and dig up all of the fossil fuels on this planet and burn them because our planet will not survive it. The creation of the Dakota Access Pipeline uh, is, a, is as much a, a conveyance of fossil fuels as it is a symbol of our country's priorities. And I think it's an important moment for us as a nation to be clear about what those priorities are. That more fossil fuel extraction is dangerous to the people of this country, to the people of this planet, to the survival of human life on this planet. And the people of Illinois stand in solidarity. The legislature of Illinois, I believe, we will show that we stand in solidarity with those who are on the front lines of this protest, uh, demanding not only an end to the Dakota Access Pipeline, but a better way forward for powering our planet. Thank you very much. I forget how tall you are. Thank you all very much. Um, if anyone has any questions for either one of us or any of the speakers, we're happy to entertain your questions. Otherwise, thanks for being here. Go ahead, Lisa. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.